Oh, I'm going to preface this video by letting you know that I don't know much about Willie Taggart, about what he's done, about what he's accomplished, about what's on his resume. Um, so I'm going to be learning as we go along. But I can tell you, it's not about what you know, but it's really about who you know. And I'm sure you'll understand a lot more by the end of this video. So um, Ravens, of course, they have Greg Roman. Um, he is their current offensive coordinator. It's believed that he is going to be Stanford's next head coach. We're still waiting and watching and seeing, and I know some people are wishing that Greg Roman is going to end up going to Stanford any day now. I've been expecting it to happen for the past couple of days now, but we still haven't heard anything. Um, so the Ravens, I don't know if this move is related to Greg Roman or not, or if it's just John Harbaugh possibly trying to get somebody else on the staff. We don't know. We don't know if the, the, the two moves are correlated with each other. Greg Roman possibly leaving and Willie Taggart possibly joining. We don't know. But a lot of people think that this could possibly be a move where it could pertain to the Ravens offense. But let's uh, read the report from Pete Thamel and then we'll get into it. Uh, it says, spoke to former FAU coach Willie Taggart. He visited Deion Sanders' staff in Boulder, Colorado this week. And of course, we know Deion is going from Jackson State uh, to Colorado. He made the switch. Uh, so anyway, but Willie Taggart has not taken a job there. He spent last week at Michigan and is headed to Baltimore this week to visit the Ravens. So Willie Taggart is making his rounds uh, around the college level and also the professional level uh, of the NFL. But who is Willie Taggart and what kind of connections does he have to the Baltimore Ravens? Well, uh, I had to go to Wikipedia and this was an interesting read, um, especially this part about his collegiate career. Let's read it. It says after high school, he's from Florida, by the way. So shout out to him. But anyway, he said after high school, Taggart became a star quarterback for the Western Kentucky University uh, Hilltoppers from 95 to 98, being one of only three uh, players in the previous 50 years to be a four star starter uh, at the position and one of only four Hilltopper players to have his jersey retired. All right. That's cool. Let me get to the, the, the best part. Taggart was recruited to WKU by Jim Harbaugh. To play for his father, Jack Harbaugh. You see what we be talking about? Hey, if them Harbaugh's love you, then you will always have an opportunity. You will always have a job. You will always have a chance. There's an article that came out in, I think, 2017. The title of the article is How Willie Taggart Became an Honorary Hardball. Family ties, baby. Family ties. Um, now, if, we, again, we don't know yet. We don't know what he would do with the Ravens if the Ravens even hire him. We don't know. There's so much that we just do not know yet. We don't know. But if it is for offense, one would think like, okay, if, if he's being possibly brought in for the offense what kind of offense does he run what does he do so shout out to hoodie Ramey because he posted a an excerpt from an article that talked about willie taggart's offenses it says the gulf coast offense combines the idea of traditional power eye blocking uh, and running with the athletes and routes of a spread offense, generally using a read pass option or RPO to attack the matchup that the offensive coordinator feels like he can win. Sound familiar? Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, GCO is centered around an athletic quarterback and his ability to properly read a defense and decipher the matchup that favors them. The running back has to be able to hit the holes and cut to the open space while also catching passes out of the backfield and finding green grass. Now, here's the kicker. Listen to this next part. This is the kicker. The receivers need to be able to block downfield and have a set of reliable hands. So, I know that's a small sample size from, I'm sure it's a much larger article. But that sounds like, it sounds like the same thing that the Ravens do now. Sounds like the same thing. Especially that last sentence, because 
the, the way that it was worded, the receivers need to be able to block downfield. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but then they have to have a set of reliable hands. What that says to me, let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you agree, disagree, either way. What that part said to me about the reliable hands part, it, it sounds like, oh, you, you're not going to get many opportunities as a receiver. So when you do get your opportunities, you better make sure that you catch that ball. Because it ain't coming your way too often. But, hey, again, let me know if I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I've seen so many people talk about Willie Taggart. I've seen a lot of people mention him in the past 12 hours. And I don't say this in, I mean, I'm just being truthful. I have not seen one person say anything positive about him as a coach um and I, I i even saw an interview from a former fsu player because he used to coach at fsu for a little bit um he was they said that he, they were very happy that he got fired um and, and let's just look at his uh some of the places that he's coached um western kentucky uh stanford he was a running backs coach uh, he coached at South Florida, Oregon, Florida State, and uh, FAU, Florida Atlantic. So a lot of experience, but again, I, I, was, I was really searching for somebody to, to say something positive. I, I seriously was, and I could not find not one thing, not one thing. Um, one of my guys, Keith, who's from Florida, he said, bro, as a person who lives in Florida and saw him in two schools, he's bad. And somebody replied to him, said, any specifics? And Keith said, really, it's the same that we complain about now. Bad play calling, abandoning the run or passing, running too much. He has no creativity. Look at what he did at FSU. Just garbage. Uh, and, the, and the guy replied to him and said, man, that's a shame. I'll have to watch some film. And Keith said, my friends that are FSU Allen were not happy when he was given the job and hated him even more later. Just has zero clue. Now, again, I, I, I'm... Just based off of everything that I've seen, again, I, I haven't seen anybody say anything positive about it. Um, and based off of what we just read, the excerpts from the articles and whatnot, um, based off of that, and, and not even based off of that, we, we could take what we read from those articles, because again, we don't have the context of the full article. So that could just be a, a piece of it, which is, is just a piece of it, but that may not be telling the whole story. But even if we take the little piece of the article that we just read, we take it, we crumble it up, throw it away. Family ties will still remain. Hallballs. Hallballs. Hallballs put in their people on. And sometimes when you, it, it would just be the same cycle. This is why, again, I, I, keep, I keep telling people, man. I, even if g has gone, and again, we don't know if this is for offense, for defense. We don't know what it's for, and, and if, it, if it will even go through. It could just be the Harbaugh's being like, hey, we just trying to uh, put his name out there even more. It could be something like that because they have done that plenty of times before. They especially, especially do it with players. Where they bring in a player for a workout or whatever just to get their name sort of buzzing again. Because they put their people on. But anyway, this is why I've continuously said Greg Roman could go tomorrow. He, he could leave tomorrow. He could walk out the door tomorrow. I know so many Ravens fans would be happy. But I would still be very concerned because the Ravens would still have the same philosophy that they have right now. How much can you truly expect to change if Ravens are doing the same thing over and over and over? So, we'll see what happens. Again, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the visit is for. We don't know. He could just be visiting his buddies. Visiting John Harbaugh saying, hey, what's up, buddy? How's everything going? How's your pops? How's your brother? How's you? So uh, that could be, but we don't know. But if he does get hired, I don't think it would really be a surprise to anybody. But we'll just wait and see. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And always remember, it's not always about what you know, but it's about who you know. We out.